identity is the means by which most of us engage with the outside world. We start with ourselves and we move on to others. The one thing you can be certain about with any identity is that it will change. Uh, they are fluid, they're not fixed and they change because people and communities develop and evolve. They change in themselves, identities, but they also change in relation to other things. Looking at the question, who are we, and does it matter in the 21st century, we thought it'd be interesting to create a pilot project that could be replicated by any community. I was struck by two points in Gary Young's book. Firstly, that identity isn't fixed, but changes according to context. Different aspects of identity are revealed by the people that are around us. And secondly, the importance of names comes across very strongly, both because they're personal and also because they often have roots into the community. We wanted to see how these two ideas worked out in the context of Whitechapel. We use Whitechapel, East London, and in this case asked local business owners to talk about who they are, their name, and how they relate to their community. There's something about it that reminds me of home, which is quite, I grew up in East Germany, and there is a sort of, um, if you think of East Berlin, it's sort of a bit rough and ready and creative. I feel like I'm part of part of it, but I'm also not part of the majority of sort of Bengali community around me. Um, even though they know me and there's a mutual respect and interest. Being a migrant, having moved into East London, I think, I think that's probably part of why it feels right for my identity, because it's made up of migrants, I suppose, and it's got a huge history of that sort of changing communities and cultures. Uh, I'm Muslim, yeah, and uh, everything is a halal, yeah, and uh, in my point of view, you know, halal is, uh, you know, is, is good for health, you know, but no one, you know, since from the two years now, no one came here to uh, tell us, you know, that's a halal or not, no, no one saying like that, yeah, because it's a mixed community, you know, in here, you know, so no one bother, you know. The Hughes family came to the Whitechapel Bell Foundry in 1884. We made Big Ben, we made the original Liberty Bell, we made the Great Bell of Montreal. This is our life. It, it, it's been my husband's and my life. It's been, it was his grandparents' life, it was his parents' life, it was his great-grandparents' life. Um, our children live here. Um, they don't actually work in the company full-time yet, but it may well become their life too. It's mainly now become a Muslim area. Muslims don't use bells. The immediate local community now, I think, have very little connection with us, which is very sad. These stories reveal the shallow and deeper connections between different groups in the community. We would then use these stories to create an exhibition that features different types of artists to interpret these perspectives and reveal identities. Choreographer Debbie Johnson worked with dancer Eshe, using her identity as a way to exemplify how our stories of identity can inspire artistic interpretation. The first piece of movement that we created was, was based around my name, which means Eshe, which means life. We took the meaning of my surname, Bandele, which means born away from home. And we created a phrase based around home and being distant from home. I was basically thinking of the sound of my name plus the origin of it. So it was quite African based movement. Me and Debbie were talking about my, me travelling because I've travelled a lot and um, we came across Ghana and she asked me what reminded me of Ghana and I said kente cloth really reminds me of Ghana and it's like a traditional cloth which is very brightly coloured and, um, and then she asked me to create movement based around that and how I created the movement was imagining the cloth being wrapped around me.
sharing our sense of identity is important because it's the starting point, I think, for an understanding of common universal values. If you know where you're coming from, then it's possible to understand where somebody else is coming from.